Good afternoon. Thank you to the Southwest Wind Ensemble for welcoming us into this space. Buildings that make up the Minneapolis Public Schools community are built within the traditional homelands of the Dakota people. Minnesota comes from the Dakota name for this region, Minnesota Makoche, translating to the land where the waters reflect the skies or cloudy waters. Minneapolis Public Schools recognizes the original peoples of this place and are committed to make ongoing efforts to educate the community about the relationship that Dakota people have to this area, both historically and today, as they remain here in their home. Welcome, graduates of the class of 2022, parents, friends. guests, school staff, and our officials. Today, we will honor students who have met the qualifications for graduation from a Minneapolis public high school. Because of the significance of this event and its importance in the lives of our graduates, we ask that all present respect the following guidelines. Please turn off all cell phones and any other electronic devices. Please hold your applause and cheers so that each family may hear their graduate's name announced. We will have group applause for all graduates at, at the completion of the ceremony. If you want to take pictures during the ceremony, you must do so from your seat. There is no flash photography allowed as this event is being live streamed. Professional videographers are recording and live streaming the graduation ceremony. We ask that everyone remain in their seats throughout the ceremony. The fire code prohibits anyone from being in the aisles. There is ample seating for everyone. At the end of the program, we will dismiss students from the auditorium. We ask that you remain in your seats until all of the graduates are dismissed and meet your graduate in front of the arena. There is another graduation ceremony immediately following ours, so please do not gather in the loading dock area. Finally, we ask that you be respectful throughout the ceremony so that our graduates receive the appropriate recognition for their achievement. Please do not talk during the ceremony. Thank you for your dignified support and co cooperation. Now this afternoon, we do have an announcement regarding Southwest Principal Dr. Valerie Butler's, Butler's, Little Butler's absence at today's ceremony. Dr. Butler is following COVID protocol, and she looks forward to congratulating the seniors when she returns. Principal Lisa Ledman and I will facilitate the ceremony and perform her duties today. Thank you for your understanding. Please join me in welcoming AP Lisa Ledman to the podium. On behalf of Dr. Butler, here are her words to the class of 2022. Greetings, Southwest family. It is an honor to welcome our parents, caregivers, family members, friends, the alumni, our platform guest, Superintendent Ed Graff, and the school board director, Ira Jordan. A special welcome to all our military servicemen and women, I extend my biggest welcome to our students, the class of 2022. We are here today for this momentous commencement ceremony of Southwest High School to celebrate this milestone accomplishment and to wish the students well in their future endeavors. You have an incredible educational journey. When you arrived at Southwest in 2018, you were nervous, curious, and very determined. Four years later, you may still be a little nervous, very curious, but more determined to make a positive impact in the world. Over the last four years, you have experienced countless unprecedented challenges politically, socially, economically, militarily, educationally, and spiritually. But because of your flexibility and tenacity, you have helped to transform 
the culture and expectations of our school while maintaining the global instructional focus of the Southwest family. We are all extremely proud of this class, but I must pause and also honor those that were there along the way to support and encourage each one of you. We are thankful to the parents, caregivers, and families for exemplifying endurance and patience with the numerous changes during this journey. We are also appreciative of the fine staff at Southwest who continue to stay committed to the sex success of every student while taking a personal interest in their academic and social development. And Dr. Butler asked that we share this poem in the words of Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Hayes III. Remember, the world needs your voice. The world needs your knowledge. The world needs your skills. The world needs your talents. The world needs you to make a positive impact in society and into the lives of all generations. Don't let anybody turn you around. If you have a mountain, climb it. If you have a river, just cross it. If you have a dream, just chase it. If you have a vision, just pursue it. If you have an ideal, just do it. If you have a bad habit, just break it. If you have a handicap, stay empowered to overcome it. If you have a talent, just develop it. If you have a song, just sing it. If you have a testimony, just tell it. If you have a sermon, just preach it. If you have a vote, just cast it. Since you have a life, don't just exist, live it. I wish you much happiness and success in the years to come. I know that you will continue to bring honor upon yourselves, your families, and your communities. Congratulations, class of 2022. Now please enjoy this performance of The Road Home by Stephen Paulus, performed by the Southwest Singers.
Thank you, Southwest Singers teacher, Mr. Fisher, and American Sign Language teacher, Jody Perlman, and her ASL students. Now please join me in welcoming Director Jodane and Superintendent Ed Graff. Seniors, it has been our pleasure to serve you. At Southwest High School, we are proud to offer a high quality education through the International Baccalaureate programming to our students. Our students strive to achieve their best and we will now honor those students who have consistently performed highly during their high school career. We will start with the Southwest class of 2022 valedictorians. These students have earned this honor by achieving and maintaining a 4.0 grade point average throughout their high school career. Students, valedictorians, I'm going to ask you to join me on the stage. Families and guests, please hold your applause until every name is called. Students, please come up as I call your name. Ilias Abdullahi. Eric Arnold. Lauren Downham. Matthew Ferencheck, Catherine Hockenberry, Peter Lindholm, Ava Lindquist, Amea Petch, Maya Pham, Ned Charlo, Samara Sturgis, Peregrine Todd. We are so proud of our valedictorians. Please join me once again in congratulating the class of 2022 valedictorians. Thank you. Students, you may return to your seats. We will now honor the Southwest Class of 22 salutatorians. When your name is called, please stand. These students have earned this honor by achieving a 3.99 grade point average. Families and guests, please hold your applause until the end. Salutatorians, Ian Lee. Kieran Danick. Cooper Camp, Chloe Buma, Elise Kumasaka, Isabella Power, Paola Riviera. Congratulations, Southwest Salutatorians. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. Students, you may now be seated. Again, congratulations to our salutatorians and valedictorians. I am pleased to introduce our first valedictorian speaker, Katherine Hockenberry. Next year, Katie will be in the honors program at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities majoring in nursing and psychology. Katie is an IB diploma candidate and her primary activities at Southwest were swimming and FTC robotics. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Katie Hockenberry, and my speech is in the format of a poem titled Memories. 
Congratulations, class of 2022, for all that we have made it through. From freshman year and brand new halls to senior year and one last gathering of us all. From sprouting friendships to unbreakable bonds, from IB and AP exams to that one group breaking out into songs. From four years of choir, band, guitar, dance, and theater to one last final show and all those little senior moments when you realize you're going to miss it more than you know. From teachers we've loved and sports we've adored to distance learning and masks at the door. Our purple gowns now sit in a row. It's time to walk across the stage for the finale of this show. We've made it through these unprecedented times, a phrase which here means we've all heard that about a million times. It all comes to this, our last few moments as seniors in high school, just a tassel flip and diploma in two to three weeks <laughs> away from our future. I'm not going to lie, high school's not always been one of my favorite places, but like a lot of you, I'm going to miss some of these familiar faces. Thank you to the teachers who helped us feel like we belong. Thank you to the teachers who several years later still inspired me to write this poem. Thank you for striking and being an inspiration to us all, for proving voices are stronger together, and it's important to always stand tall. Thank you to the teachers whose quotes we still laugh at, whose classrooms we still feel safe in, whose faces still bring a smile to our lips, and whose waves in the hallways still light up our days. Thank you for the memories, the lessons, the moments, for the four years that for better or worse, we will never forget, for the important nuanced knowledge you have taught us that has forever shaped our growing mindset. And finally, thank you to the class of 2022 for providing four years of entertainment, for never failing to make hard classes the highlight of my day, and for showing up in the most remarkable ways for friendships that will stand the test of time and random references no one else could understand if they tried. For entire, thank you for entire class group chats filled with homework help and random memes and dozens of Instagrams filled with parking, teachers, and future dreams. After today, the next chapter begins. Tomorrow's approaching and high school's come to an end. Our futures await, so with mixed feelings I say, congratulations class of 2022. We finally made it to today. We now welcome Amea Pesh to the podium for our second Valvatorian speech. I am pleased to introduce our Valvatorian speaker, Amea Pesh. This fall, Amea will be attending Davidson College in North Carolina. She will be studying biology on the pre-med track. What she enjoyed most about Southwest was playing in and watching the sports. In high school, Amea's activities included soccer, Nordic Skiing, Green Team, Model UN, and National Honor Society. There's a lot of people in here. Good afternoon, teachers, administrators, family members, and soon-to-be graduates. It is an honor to be speaking here today. To my fellow Lakers, we made it. I know we've all heard this about a hundred times, but the class of 2022 has truly had a very unique high school experience. We've been slammed by a global pandemic, awakened by civil difficulties within our city and across the nation, and surprised by some unexpected changes in the school calendar. In short, the Southwest class of 2022 survived four very challenging years, and we did so because of our ability to adapt to change. Adapting to change is what makes us grow and evolve into better versions of ourselves. We're not the same as we were freshman year, thankfully. I remember walking into Southwest as a tiny little freshman who's very excited to meet new people and have more freedom. Instead, our school went online, and so did all of the people. Our grade lived in isolation from one another just a year after becoming one. I never thought it was possible to take school for granted, and I've never been more grateful to have normal high school experiences this year. For better or for worse, I'm glad we're here today to graduate. This is actually happening, guys. 
Even though I'm standing up here, I still have a lot of things to figure out. However, I do feel strongly about this. Because of what we've overcome, we need to listen to each other. The many obstacles thrown in our paths are now shared experiences. Using the adaptability and resilience that we've built up over the past few years, our class can make a commitment to grow and move away from patterns that don't serve as a step forward. The ability to accept two conflicting truths is something that may be difficult, but will be necessary to navigate the future. For example, masks can be a very important public health tool, but they can also limit the ability of people to interact with one another. Groups should be able to fight for what they need, but that need shouldn't take away from the rights of others. Society needs laws to function and protect, but these laws need to be enforced equally and must protect the most vulnerable for society to be at its best. That's some pretty serious stuff we should keep in mind. Right now, we should just focus on the fact that we're graduating high school. The class of 2022 will be remembered as the class that spent the least amount of time in school, but somehow became the most prepared for life. Good luck to everyone with their plans for next year. Thank you. Thank you very much for that lovely speech. This year, we have a senior class speaker who will be sharing some of words of wisdom as she completes her high school career. Nemo Nagad Abdi Abdullahi is first attending St. Paul College for two years and then will transfer to the University of Minnesota to study medicine. She is an avid student and was in many clubs and played tennis her senior year. Please join me in welcoming Nemo Nagad Abdullahi to the podium. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We all know our high school experience was not what people call typical. Our normal was staying home, learning how to bake, spending time with our families, and becoming attached to our phones. We were a little dodged to our classmates and teachers, like Skittles, right? Despite all the odds, we still managed to graduate. I want to give a big congratulations to everyone, including myself, for being here today. So let's give ourselves a big round of applause. The world we live in is plagued with dangers like COVID, school shootings, and now recently monkeypox. How will we eliminate some of this? In case you don't know me, my name is Nim'an Nagad Abdi Abdullahi, which is not what you will hear or see in the program you might be asking yourselves why. Well, my mom named me Nim'anagad, but since I started school in the United States, my identity has become a simple version of my name. In typical American fashion, people just, people mispronounce my name, Nim'o, with their favorite Disney fish, Nemo. <clears throat> I heard it all, as my classmates said. Where is Dory? How did your dad find you? And most of all, who came first? You are the cartoon. The movie Finding Nemo followed me throughout my childhood. It seemed to be played weekly in grade school, and it framed everyone's imagination that Disney invented the name. But I would like to use this platform to educate you all on its actual origins in the Arabic and Somali language. Nimro means blessed. Nimranagad is a beautiful name, and I would like to thank my Hoyo for a phenomenal name. Don't let, don't let people strip your identity away. Remember, if it's important to you, <clears throat> remember if it's important to you or it bothers you, speak up, say something. I now slightly regret not correcting people. My name is unique, 
like me. In fact, Chimamanda Naguchi Agushie, the famous Nigerian author, once said, when we reject the single story, when we realize that it was never a single story about any place or person, we regained a kind of peace, we regained a peace, we regained a kind of peace, a kind of paradise. Humanity is beautiful like paradise. I want to leave you with this. Stay clear of the sing Stay clear of the dangers of single stories. Share your story. Let's show the world how unique we all are. Wear your name proudly. This class is special. You will all do wonderful things. Once again, let's give it up for the class of 2022. Thank you, thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our staff keynote speaker for this year. This person was selected by students because of the care and service they show for each student. Please join me in welcoming social studies teacher and many more things, teacher Sean Keir to the podium. Thank you. Southwest class of 2022, you made it. A global pandemic threw what was once predictable into three years of unpredictability. You were asked to continuously adapt, and you did so again and again. The murders of George Floyd, Dante Wright, and Amir Locke brought the world's eyes to our city. You took the lead in the movement for black lives. Your teachers went on strike for safe and stable schools, and you stood with us in solidarity in the fight for your school and the fight for public education. Some of my proudest moments and memories as an educator came from your uncompromising and unwavering commitment to fighting for what is right through it all. For a teacher, there is a unique sense of pride in watching students taking their education from theory to practice. You carry with you a fearlessness that is compelling and confident. You have the ideas, creativity, and energy to shape a better world. You are full of hope and imagination. You have the power and potential to make positive change in the world. And now to the hard part, carrying that power, potential, and energy into adulthood. The adult world you are about to enter like school, has bullies who will try to break you. They may not look the same as they did in school, and they now wield a different kind of power. The bullies of adulthood are those who abuse their power and live content in a system that exploits the people and incites division amongst them, for that is what their power is built on. The bullies of adulthood steep their rhetoric in bull, and present an ideology that takes away from the power of the people and consolidates their own. Call out their BS. Stand up for what is true and good. It is my hope for you that when those moments come, those big moments when you'll have to choose, that you'll choose to fight for the things you love and believe in, that you'll choose unity over division and facts over lies. The truth about the bullies of adulthood is the same as those who remember from school. They know how fragile their power is. Their biggest fear is collective action and solidarity. I once read that there are three beliefs that are key to the disruption of kindness and humility. One, that you or I am central to the universe, that each of our story is the most interesting and most important story. Two, that we individually are separate from the universe, because of course, each of us is the most important thing in it. Three, that we are permanent. Sure, death is real, but not for me. None of us truly believe these things, or maybe some of us do. The problem is that we internalize and live by them even when we don't believe. When we prioritize our own needs over the needs of others, when we forget the power of collective good, 
when we fail to be open and loving, the bullies of the world win. The country and world you live in will push you towards selfishness through ambition. Individual accomplishment is a doctrine of American society. Diplomas, degrees, jobs, promotions, material wealth, where the definition of success is renewed at every stage of life, like an uphill climb that never ends. Meeting the world's expectations of success can be dangerous and detrimental. The true intent of a world built this way is to drain your energy, potential, and power. It has the intentional design to occupy your whole life while the big questions go unanswered and the important moments are missed. So my hope for you, my advice for you, choose kindness, choose to live in the moment. Make choices that help you find the answers to life's big questions. Avoid those choices that isolate you and make you petty. Stay present in the moments that matter and take time for reflection. Travel the world, go off the beaten path, eat everything you can, get famous, innovate, lead, read books and write. Fall in love, have your heart broken, fall in love again. Conquer a fear, skydive, skinny dip under the stars, climb a mountain. Make new friends and cherish the people who support and sustain you. As you do these things, remember to be kind. Remember that the world you live in will be the world your generation builds, and you have the power and potential to make change. There is a part of each of you that exists beyond the material, beyond personality, beyond ambition, beyond selfishness. For lack of a better word, let's call it your soul. Clear away the noise and distractions and listen to this part of yourself. Believe it exists as the most important part of you and get to know it better. Nurture its growth and share it without end. For it is here where we find selflessness. It is here where our kindness resides. It is here where bullies will never win. Laker class of 2022 graduates, I am honored and humbled by you. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Keir. We will now honor the National Merit students. Commended students in the National Merit Scholarship Program are recognized for outstanding performance on the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship qualifying test in 2020. When you hear your name, please stand to be recognized. Alexander Barbatis. Congratulations. The following students are National Merit finalists. Luke Legrand, Peter... I'm gonna say that again. Luke Legrand, and if you would stand as your name is called, Luke Legrand, Peter Lindholm, Roxanne Rival, Peregrine Todd. Congratulations, students, you may now be seated. The IB Diploma Program is a curriculum for 11th and 12th grade students, students which emphasizes the breadth and depth of knowledge. Throughout the core of the diploma program, students reflect on the nature of knowledge, complete independent research, participate in community service, and complete a collaborative pro project. IB Diploma candidates, please stand as I call your name. Audience, please hold your attendance, your applause till the end. Alex Barbatus, Sophia Belses, Solène Bidot, Annika Bainakta, Leonardo Cavaletti, Audrey Cole, Matthew Ferencheck, Samantha Fida, Isaac Fox. Amy Gotchek, Andrew Gregerson, Grace Hoff, 
Claire Hacker, Cameron Harris-Gordon, Madeline Harris-Gordon, Catherine Hockenberry, Summer Johnson, Molly Kroll, Elise Kumasaka, Luke Legrand, Leo Lieberman, Malcolm Marbury, Rose Marshall, Grayson McCleary, Tessa Natten Ron, Amea Petch, Isabella Power, Grayson Richard, Edward Charlow, Sam Shores, Max Skilberg, Oren Slager, Sydney Tannen, Dora Williams, Maeve Winter, Maria Yepez, Xander Zoya. Please join me in congratulating our diploma candidate students. <laughs> students, you may now be seated. The International Baccalaureate Career Certificate Program enables schools to widen the participation in an IB education by incorporating the vision and educational principles of IB into a new unique program specifically developed for students who wish to engage in career-related learning. Southwest career-related program pathways are business, computer science, graphic arts, or music. IB Diploma Career-Related Certificate Program candidates Please stand as I call your name. Audience, please hold your applause until the end. Alex Ekstrand, Elliot Fergal, Tristan Kraus, John Labar, Caden Locker, Ray Tech Manier, Max Milner, Kumi Mizuno, Padrick Mosier, Lena Nakaoka, Eli Rickry, Tenzin. Yang Chen. Please join me in congratulating our career program candidates. <laughs> Students, you may now be seated. Director Jourdain and Superintendent Graff. We certify that these seniors have met all of the requirements for graduation as specified by Minneapolis Public Schools and the State of, Min and the State of Minnesota. Thank you, Assistant Principal Erickson and Assistant Principal Ledman. On behalf of Minneapolis Public Schools, it's my distinct honor to present to you, Director Jordan, the Southwest graduating class of 2022. Thank you, Superintendent Graff, Southwest Administration. On behalf of the Minneapolis Public School Board of Education, it is my sincere honor to accept the senior class of 2022. Uh, Principal AP, or AP Erickson, would you please complete the presentation? Thank you. I would like to ask Mrs. Valerie Rittler and Mr. Brian Meyer to call the names of our graduating seniors. We will now distribute the diploma covers to the class of 2022. Please hold your applause until the end.
I tap it. You tap it? <clears throat> okay. Um, these are not. Okay. Madar Abdullahi. Abdirazak Ali. Francisco Vargas Guzman. Francis Moore. Ilyas Abdullahi, Eric Arnold, Lauren Downham, Matthew Ferriancheck, Catherine Hockenberry. Peter Lindholm. Ava Lindquist. Amia Petch. Maya Pham. Ned Charlo. Samara Sturgis. Peregrine Todd. Liban R. Meta Arsheim. Braden Abbey. Amin Abdi. Ayan Abdi. Guled Abdi. Ready? Ready? You want to switch? Next time. So. Hoda Abdi. Kamal Abdi. Kamal Abdi. Nemo Abdi. Abdikani Abdullahi. Mariama Abdullahi. Nemo Abdullahi. Ansal Abdullahi. Oh. Abigail Abalera Wright. Keaton Adams. Quentin Adams. Nolan Adkison. Ayan Ahmed. Rayan Ahmed. Amy Alarcon Gutches. Muram Abirukani. Fatia Ali. Faisal Ali.
Hibak Ali. Ikra Ali. Muhammad Ali. Yasin Ali. Yusra Ali. Catherine Allenson. Brandon Alexander Aviar Estrada. Salvador Ambris Galarza. Maya Amundsen. James Anderson. Soraya Anderson. Talia Anderson. Suleiman Arale. Mike Arms. Amaya Askew. Anthony Adkins. Rama Aideed. Angelo Basic. Fatima Bangura. Hayden Banks. Luis Barbin Gochez. Alex Barbatis. Bridget Barrett. Salat Bashir. Sicily Bass. Quinn Bechet. Sophia Belseth. Sam Benick. Darina Benison Etta. William Bernard. Kennedy Bettis. Solen Bido. Nadia Bierbaum. Annika. By Nocta. Evan Binder. Renee Banky. Dre Boygenzan. Madison Bolster. Lauren. Bonner, Charles Boucher, Chloe Boma, Colette Bowman, Joseph Brandoe. Leo Brevison.
Lars Brinkema. Antonio Brooks. Keandre Brown. April Burr. Isaiah Burnett. Ellie Burns. Cooper Camp. Jocelyn Carlson. Bryn Casey. Leo Cavaletti. Tenzin Chokey. Spencer Christensen. Talia Christman. Micah Christofferson. Mason Cerrone. Josie Clausen. Miranda Cohn. Audrey Cole. Fatumata Kante. <laughs> Margaret Cook. Jane Crabtree. Josephine Crow. Mason Croy. Axel Cruz. Davion Cyrus. Oliver Chell. Ella Dalby. Xavier Dalsing. Oliver Dam. Kieran Danik. Carol Dang. Connor Davis. John Davis. Sylvia DeShazo. Quentin Dean. Jada Devins Rustin. Madeline De Bruin. Ellie Detling. Mamadou Diallo. Alexandra Diamond. Dache Jope. Lily Doe. Jonathan Draheim. London Dries. Ahmed Duale. Scarlett Dunning. Ronan Edison. Thomas Edstrom. Yeah. 
Basil Edwards. Ian Eiler. Michaela Eckel. Alex Ekstrin. Thomas Cornelius Elias. Preston Engen. Braden Engrav. Nicole Espinosa. Zachariah Esa. Nicholas Fenn. Shamarke Farah. Hi. Bond Feltis. Elliot Fergal. Nathaniel Farrell. Samantha Fighter. Abigail Furman. Samuel Fisher. Joseph Flockman. Versi Xiomara Flores Ortega. Hakeem Ford. Isaac Fox. La Brea French. Miguel Fresco Hanlon. Jonathan Fry. Can I go next? No, for this next one. Lucia Freeling. Amy Gachai. Isabella Gagnon. Finnegan Gallagher. Caroline Gardner. Kiwan Garner. Morgan Gaskell. Jonas Geary. Cy Gleason. Oscar Golden. Jacob Greenwald. Andrew Gregerson. Tashawn Grissom. Tommy Gullickson Teeman. Bryn Gustafson. Grace Hoff. Claire Hacker. Daniel Hacker. Allison Hanka. Catherine Page Herrick. Michael Harrell. Isaac Harrington. Cameron Harris Gordon. Maddie Harris Gordon. 
Jude Harrison. Ruble Hassan, Ethan Haug, Ambrose Hayward, Liam Healy, Aliana Herman. Campana Sierra Hermanson Akin Bemi River Hernandez Abrejo Patrick Hetzel Warhol Raho Hersey. Jackson Hesh. Hosh, Jackson Hosh. Camden Holter. Annika Hudek. Fausto Hoyos. Ty Hughes, Finnegan Hunsaker, Saeed Hussein, Kareem Hussein, Faiza Ibrahim. Wazira Ibrahim. Chamsiatu Inoue. Asiya Ismail. Abdurrahman Jama. Ahmed Jama. Mia Jennings, Edward Jurley, Katrina Jurek, Patrick Johnson, Summer Johnson. Rohan Kalale Ayengar. Alex Camlo. Bennett Katra Kuritz. Nicholas Katri Kuritz. Sophie Kegley, Benjamin Keller, Sophia Kimball, Carson Kloss, Madeline Kloon. 
Graham Knapp. Venice Nolan. Evan Knudsen. Kyle Koenig. Gloria Casagan. Tristan Kraus. Molly Kroll. Elise Kumasaka. John Labar. Caden Locker. Ella Lammers. Alexander Lamont. Leo Garcia. Harry Larsh. Andrew Larson. Jack Locks. Seamus Levine. William Law. Lillian Lawrence. Ian Lee. Oliver Lee. Luke Legrand. Peter Legree. Lisette Lema Puma. Rachel Leo. J.D. Lewis. All right, J.D. Leo Lieberman. Grace Lindquist. Owen Linseth. Santiago Linker English. Lucas Linnebach. Lee Lowe. Anya London. Kevin Lopez. Lisbeth Lopez Ayona. Masada Love Asia. Kaya Ludke. Sophia Mack. Henry McLeod. Declan Maida. Connor Malone. Malcolm Marbury. Ruben Margolis. Rose Marshall. Trivion Marshall Hall.
Itzel Martinez Boelk. Max Mason. Grayson McCleary. McKenna McCormick. Jacob McKinney. Ava Melton Mukes. Rosie Mendoza. Raytek Menhir. Reese Michelson. Kean Miller. Max Milner. Marlon Limus. Kumi Mizuno. Mohamed Mualin. Abdikani Mohamed. Ayan Mohamed. Kaltoon Mohamed. Khalil Mohammed. Jose Guadalupe Mendoz Mendez Caballero. Mustaf Mohammed. Rainisha Minter. Coral Musin Mohammed. Omar Mohammed. Sara Mohammed. Filson Mohammed. Larry Munhe Sosito. Reese Moore. Aiden Moran. Eileen Moriarty. Dylan Morissette. Patrick Mosher. Liliana Munoz. Kian Murphy. Suhaib Musse. Abdiwasa Musse. Lena Nakaoka. Nayan Narula. Aman Nath. Tessa. Naughton Braun. Claire Nauman. Griffin Navo. Dominic Newell. Margaret Nichols.
Charles Ose. Andrea Olivar Garcia. Anzal Omar. Ramadan Omar. Zainab Omar. Suado Omar. Andrew Amelie. Eva Oris, Mason Ostrom, Ella Osweiler, Ramey Owen, Braden Owens, Mitchell Parker. Noel Pavlich, Brianna Pearson, Hannah Pearson, Olivia Penn, Bruce Perez Lapa. Ethan Peterson, Alex Phillips, Angie Pineda, Melinda Platt, Ethan Poindexter, Isabella Power, Mohammed Kasim Owen Raider Amaya Ramirez Mortland Genesis James Rabaha Linson Reed, Grayson Richard, Diego Pinto Zelaya, Roxanne Rebel. Griffin Riley, Georgia Rinkleff Duma, Naomi Rivera, Paola Rivera, Jack Rivers. Billy Rollin, okay. Octavio Rosas Carrillo, Bravon Roy, Brevin Roy. Theo Roan. Samantha Ruelas Pena. Yeah. 
Via Ruiz. Josie Rutten. Ridwan Salo. Avery Schaefer. Lila Schuster. Lucas Scott. Dan Siebold. Katarina Seeger. Carlos, Carlos Segovia. Leo Seiler. Lucy Seiler. Nathan Sealander. Gabriel Sensman Cassidy. Emmanuel Cirrus. Bryn Sexton. Percy Sharif. Abdulmalik Sharif. Ian Sheridan. Sam Shores. Violet Simon. Jamie Sinchi Sinchi. Kate Sinning. Annika Schostrom. August Schuyler. Max Skillbeck. Oren Slager. Javon Sled. Calvin Smith. Charles Smith. <laughs> Meredith Smith. <laughs> Murphy Smith. <laughs> Hayden Soderberg. <laughs> Piper Sorok. <laughs> Wyatt Speck. Lily Spurgat. <laughs> Sophia Stordahl. Ava Strand. <laughs> Michael Sullivan. Nathaniel Sullivan. Britt Sutton. Audrey Swanson. Olivia Swanson. Sydney Tannen. Beatrice Tassoni. <laughs> Kayla Garcia. <laughs> Molly Taylor. <laughs> Vanity Tao. 
Stella Thiebert. Bergen Thorson. Benjamin Todd. Corinne Tamasco. Liam Town. Reese Townsend. Lark Troja. Marin Tully. Sergio Two Hearts. Nate Umholtz. Mina Uran. Josie Veit. Sergio Velasquez. Brian Vicente. Leo Walker. Molly Walker. Franklin Walsh. Reese Walton. Michael Warner. Sueda Warsame. Finn Waterman. Bella Weatherly. Griffin West. Dylan White. Leo Wiggins. Eli Wickery. Greta Wilbur. Giselle Willett. Grayson Wilhite. Dora Williams. Zuhara Williams. Quinn Wilson. Maeve Winter. Ella Wise. Moses Wolk. Adele Wignall. Nils Wolfsberg. Elena Wurst. Isabel Wyatt. Nicholas Wyatt. Tenzin Yenshin. Maria Yepes. Abdullahi Yusuf. Gracia Zachman. (laughs) 
Nathaniel Zachman. Lucy Zimmerman. Xander Zoya. Abdurrahman Abdullahi. Kyla Edwards. Sumaya Jama. Paola, Paola Mungia Kiros. Helene Schrader. Brian Pondy. Abdiraman Badal. MK Hassan. Nicholas Ron. Congratulations, class of 2022. Seniors, please stand. At this time, please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Family members, friends, and staff, we present to you the 2022 graduating class of Southwest High School. Congratulations, graduates.